Special video next week, dude. Top five dead porn stars. We could make the two females that are probably watching <laughs> our videos now leave. So, <laughs> so we'd be 100% incels. We don't want you skanks. <laughs> <laughs> keep moving. If you don't understand what love is, keep moving. All right? There are many topics and concepts we are all familiar with, but aren't exactly sure how they work. Each week, Alan Fitzgerald and I choose a topic and try our best to explain it. This is Explaining Things. Welcome back to another episode of Explaining Things. As always, I'm your host, Jonathan Tilson, with my co-host, Alan Fitzgerald. Ahoy, ahoy. What would you do if you had a clone? If I had a clone? Yeah, would you want a clone? Do I own him? If... <laughs> This is what we're getting into. You have the option to have an exact clone of you. Dude, if I had a clone, you'd never see the real me again. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't turn turn this temptation down if it was offered. A clone slave, dude? Come on. A clone slave? A clone it, would, slave. it wouldn't just be your buddy. No. Because that, that messes shit up. You wouldn't want to enslave yourself, though. I mean, it's you. It's the most progressive slave in the world because he's just me. So I'm not like... Picking, so like, I'm not like, oh, he's black, he can be my slave, or he's Chinese, he can be my slave. Oh, no, no, no. He's I, me. I know that, but so I... He's the most progressive <laughs> slave you yeah, yeah. can have. Yeah, but you still, like, it's you. It's you. You're looking at you. Identical you. I don't, like, do you want to like, enslave that person? I don't like me very much. <laughs> I would like to see uh, me fucking work harder in life, frankly. Yeah, yeah? Yeah. It, it might take I'm a, sick of me just sitting around doing nothing, so if like, I got a slave... So it might take a duplicate of you to, you know... Yeah. Work as hard you as put you some can. sort of mic you put like a little bomb in his brain. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now we're getting into hey, it. Hey Alan too, you sure you don't want to fucking make the bed? <laughs> then he starts standing up to you. <laughs> oh yeah, you're gonna blow my head off? Well who's gonna do your laundry? Who's gonna <laughs> mow the lawn? You're all talk. I don't even think that's a real bomb you put in my head. <laughs> no, it is. It is, it is. It's absolutely a real bomb. <laughs> I would have to really do it, because me would know me. Like, where the fuck are you going to get a microscopic bomb to put in my head? Oh, no. Wait, has my clone seen all the movies I've seen? Or does uh, it just come out of a vat of goo like, blah, huh? I think that that's what I think. I don't think they program him with your memories. So he's just... Because if they do that, then he's going to think he's you and you're not safe. He's going to... You, you might as well be the clone or you could put a fucking bomb in your head. <laughs> <laughs> this True. isn't fair. That would be a great movie. It's two sci-fi, one guy's a clone, one's original, they each just talking to different people, trying to put a bomb in the other one's head. Well, but that, but that's what happens in all the clone movies. Yeah. It's, it, it's always, you're, you're talking to your you friend or, your, or, or like your sister, and you're like, no, uh, your wife, honey, it's me. Ask me something only I would know. Here's the thing, though. If it was really just a clone of me who knew nothing, he just woke up and he was 38 years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know. <sighs> no, no skills. No skills, no nothing. He hasn't been tearing up open mics like the real Alan. That's right. He couldn't just do what I do. <laughs> he completely changes his life. <laughs> Clean shaven, slick back hair. He goes to college and finishes. He's making more money than me in two and a half years. He can't years. even speak English yet. <laughs> Just fucking destroy me. just speaking me. gibberish. <laughs> you gotta figure, even if he's exactly you, he's inexperienced in the world, you can probably trick him. Probably. Probably. I mean, what I would try to do is, because I ideally don't want to have a slave, and, and if I do have a slave, I probably don't want it to be exactly me. Yeah, well, we know what you, who you'd like to be slave. <laughs> no, you don't. We know exactly no, you who don't. you'd That's like to be That's off camera. That's off camera. First of all, then you get into, can I fuck my clone? It's me. No. Isn't that just masturbation? You're disgusting. I don't want to fuck my own clone. No. no of course not. No. Uh, but if you were gay. <laughs> Still no. There's a fucking wormhole right there. Who's going to tell? It. If I ever needed um, some sort of favor from a gay guy, go though, like, yeah, I'll be over... <laughs> Oh my god. The, the clone just doesn't know anything. <laughs> just like, yeah, I'll suck your dick for a hundred bucks. Hey, <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Get out of your box. <laughs> it's suck time. <laughs> I need to go buy ice cream. <laughs> That's all you use a clone for, it's, it's gay favors. It's a complete gimp. <laughs> it's just gimp, a gimp clone. It's just a prostitute, basically. <laughs> Let me get this straight. You have a clone you've been pimping? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The scientist is like, in all our years of, of secret clone development, 
We've never seen someone turn their clown into a prostitute. This is more evil than anything we've ever seen. No, I wouldn't want to do that, dude, because I don't want my clone getting HIV that I can't use his liver when I feel like drinking again. Oh, you're going to harvest his organs. Yeah, dude. So you're getting into the darkness of yeah. this. I thought this was going to be like, oh, well, yeah. I go to work half the day and he goes to work the other half the day. Yeah, you and your clone constant high five, yeah. John. I don't high think five. that's how high it would five. go. High five. Yeah, I think it is. Double I mean, you're already, your wife. you're already advocating for clone slavery. <laughs> I, I'm against that. Let the record show. I mean, that's what a lot of people would probably do, dude. You, uh, you know, you know, smoke cigarettes all the time. You drink red meat. I mean, you eat med, med, red meat, drink alcohol. Well, you can't let anyone ever know that you have them. <clears throat> because, you know, let's say you do that, you do that, and you even, they know you have a clone, and you somehow harvest his organs. Uh, you're going to be a pariah after that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not going to be a popular guy with your fresh liver. I would teach him Spanish instead uh, of English. Yes. And be like, this is an immigrant from Mexico. <laughs> I, I thought you were going to go full on the prestige. Yeah, I thought you were going to like fucking become a magician and have the greatest trick of all time because you have an identical, you know, copy of yourself. I think people would figure that out real quick. No, no, no. So Tilson's been doing stand-up comedy for 14 years. And he just pulled off but, the greatest magic trick we've yeah, ever seen. But now he's the greatest magician after six months, and he only has all his tricks involve him being somewhere and then him being somewhere else. Uh, it, it, it's very strange. Ever since that trip to Germany, <laughs> when he brought the oversized duffel back. <laughs> ever notice after Tilson does this trick, he only knows six English language words? <laughs> he just points to his own mouth and says, foodie food. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know what I'd do if I had a clone. I, I, I'd, I'd say no. That's I, what I'd do if they're like, hey, we're going to clone you. I'd be like, no. I mean, it no, depends. Of course that, not. If they haven't even started the clone process, I, I, I would say no. But if they're like, we have it right here. <laughs> you know, old salesman tactic. I mean, it's basically good to go. Like, ah, all right. This is probably the greatest advantage ever, but it could be my downfall. It most likely will be. I don't see where it would be such a big advantage. Dude, taking half days at work? Yeah, but here's the thing. You both need to work more because it's another room, another three meals, more laundry. Like, cost... Have... <laughs> Haven't you ever had a pet before? It's just extra food. It's not just extra food. It's just extra food. What are you, bunk buddies? I give him my old clothes. You know, instead of donating it or tossing it out, he gets my old shit. He's wearing a Billabong shirt at fucking 37. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Quicksilver. <laughs> that stuff was hot. I mean, it still is. Put it on. Yeah. <laughs> this is really, you ever seen Multiplicity with the Michael Keaton? Now, he goes overboard. He's got like six clouds. Well, and also, And he they start clones... fucking his wife. He started, he clones a clone, and it makes one retarded. <laughs> it was a retarded. They, they didn't use the R word. It was dark. But I've got eyes. <laughs> and I've got ears. And ears, yeah. <laughs> and this one isn't acting the same. He was retarded. Simple task. It was a dark movie when you think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a, man, it's a man's downfall. <laughs> the clone's fucking his wife. <laughs> She's like, you were great last night. And he's just like, what do you mean? Yeah, huh? Oh, yeah, it was. No, and, they don't and, have clones And they have to confront your clone. Did you fuck my wife? She said she came. She never comes. <laughs> She's going to be on to us. <laughs> no clones. Dude. No way, no how. If someone just said, like, hey, I got a clone of you, dude, you have I wouldn't a, have the heart to put a bullet in his head. You have an unpaid, you have an unpaid employee. All you have to do is feed him and clothe him. He, okay, now you're... You, on the slavery thing. <laughs> Did I just invent slavery? You just... <laughs> this is like fucking just 1400. No, no, no. Don't you understand? You don't pay them, but they still work. You just pay for their housing and food. Yeah. All right, so maybe he would be a slave. So he would... It sounded better without saying the word though, right? Yeah, total slave. <laughs> Especially if he's helpless like that. I just arrived at the conclusion of slave. <laughs> so if I had a clone, I think the best thing you do Never wake him up. Never wake him up. He doesn't have to know this horrible thing called life. But if I start smoking again, I need a lung, he's there. He doesn't... First of all, what the fuck? He, he's just going to sleep his entire life if you don't wake him up? He's in a coma. You put him in a coma. Oh, you put him in a coma. Yeah. Golf club to the head. <laughs> Hey, There's got to be a medical is, is way, to a do better it. way to do it. There's, I can't, you do. Yeah, but you, you can't told, do that. If you told a doctor, like, hey, is there a way you can put him in a coma? And he went, sure. <laughs> and he grabbed a golf club. He's like, what the <laughs> fuck is going on here? He's like, well, you want you want the more expensive option? You're like, give me the golf club. <laughs> that would be so hard, dude. You're suddenly. It would be impossible. You're hard. already 37. Okay, you're 37. I'm 37. 
you're already going to turn... You're just going to be a 37-year-old man with the skills of a baby. You're not going to be able to do anything. That's the clone. You're gonna have to te- you're gonna That's have to te- the clone. Yes, you're going to have to teach the clone English. You're going to have to teach him how to eat, use a knife and fork. You're going to have to do all this shit just to make him a person. And nothing worth having didn't come with a little work attached to it. You can be... In two places at once after this. I view the clone as like, it's like human nature. It's like the the fall of man. It's like, if you could have, you know, a hundred million dollars, you know, a hundred billion dollars in riches right now, would you take it? And then it just leads to you just being alone and miserable and blah, blah, blah. Like, we can't help ourselves. And the innocent clone who hasn't been tortured for 37 years of existence just starts getting along better and enjoying life. Who says I'm torturing my clone? No, he's, you're tortured. Your soul is tortured by society and yeah. what it's done to you. And the clone, he's just like, holy shit, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. And he would thrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people would like and it, and it your clone it, more than you. It probably ends with me in the bathtub with my toe on a shotgun trigger. The very end of the film is just clone me just walking around looking at butterflies smiling and everyone just thinks Jonathan really figured it out. Don't joke about a shock in the mouth, okay? Cagney Lynn Carter just died I, yesterday. I know. I've seen a couple of her videos. I don't know her work that well, but she had to be an anal queen if she's going toe on the trigger. I would <laughs> anal's on the menu with her. <laughs> Do you think Cagney Lynn Carter, if she could have a clone? I would sign up for her clone. <laughs> yeah. Can I have her clone? Yeah, I want her clone. <laughs> yeah, I want her she just died. That's where it gets really dark. She just died. Can you still make one? She's still fresh enough. Can you imagine you bring a headless clone? <laughs> yeah, 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 hey, yeah. clone this one. Can I have some of her hair? <laughs> I got a clone guy. <laughs> it's not going to make her 36, is it? No? Okay, good. Right. Oh, a baby? I'm going to have to wait for it? <laughs> Most patient man on earth. <laughs> Most patient man on earth. You're like, you're just battling erectile dysfunction. <laughs> you're like... All right, 55, still get hard, still get hard. 18-year-old Alan will thank you forever. <laughs> Cagney, you're 18. Get out of the box. <laughs> nope, no more PB&Js today. <laughs> no, she doesn't. My Cagney doesn't eat carbs. What we're trying to say is if you want a clone, be careful. You yes. know, it could lead to your downfall. Yeah. You're going to have a lot of fun for a little while. It's kind of like drugs, I imagine, yeah. you know? Coke is great at first, and then all of a sudden you need it to get up in the morning. R.I.P. Cagney Lynn Carter, that's all I have to say. R.I.P. Cagney. Oh. Bye, guys.